Tonight, only on Fox 13, we're talking with the mother of a man shot and killed by a Shelby County Sheriff's deputy. Investigators say the deputy opened fire to protect their life while being dragged by a car. Fox 13's Dakari Turner is in studio with us. Dakari, that woman told you she's talking for her son and she wants her side of this story shared. Yeah, Daryl Darcy, three days after it happened, Jarvion Hudspeth's mother still dealing with trying to come to terms with her son's death. It's been a painful journey, she says, one that she says she's not quite processed. Sitting across from Charlotte Haggett, it doesn't take long to see it. When that gunshot hit him. <sighs> the immense grief over the sudden loss of her son, 21-year-old Jarvion Hudspeth, he left home Saturday morning, a routine on his day off from work, becoming abnormal when he didn't respond to texts. Haggett eventually sent him this the next day. And I said, are you alive? Saturday, Jarvion had parked his Mustang not far from home near Allendale and Rosswood Drives in North Shelby County. Shelby County deputies claim he'd been encountered by a deputy and drove away, claiming he dragged that deputy as he did. Somewhere along the way, that deputy firing and shooting him. Bleeding, authorities say Jarvian had been shot and kept driving. I've now uncovered audio as he revs his engine one last time before slamming into nearby parked cars. These would become some of the last few moments of Jarvian's life. He was scared. He wanted to get home. He was so close to home. I just hope it was quick. I hope he didn't suffer because I know he was there myself. Graduating with honors from school before moving to college to study engineering, her son was not coming home. Saturday night, Sheriff Floyd Bonner detailed the incident. No one said anything about remorse for my son. What do you want to say to that deputy? What do you want to say to Floyd Bonner? Never, ever will I forgive them for killing my son. <laughs> Jarvion on a birthday. His mother leans on Fox 13 Investigates for help finding answers. And the TBI who has the lead on the investigation, they say they continue to investigate and they'll not discuss the details to date. Haggett says she's not been contacted as a part of that investigation and she has not yet seen her son either. She says her next immediate move is to begin planning his funeral. Back over to you, Daryl. Fox 13's Dakari Turner in studio tonight. Thank you, Dakari.